Patreon link below in the description for a private Discord server. It's free for the rest of October, only $10 after. Look at these really, really awesome, winning, and amazing trades. Trade live with us every single day. We have several other traders on board, and it's only like $10 after the free trial. Okay, let's talk about Terra Classica. So far, prices are holding pretty steady. We're also seeing a whiff of wells diving in. But today, we're going to have to talk not just the burn rates, but the potential of Terra Classic in the future. So far, Terra Classic is burning a lot of tokens. Most of it is from Binance, and some of it's from private validators and nodes, and some of them are just from everyday retail traders. But Binance is like the one doing the heavy lifting. They now represent one-fifth of the total volume of Terra Classic, and we're already getting this many burns. Can you imagine if KuCoin, who represents 41% of the total volume of Terra Classic, joins in on the 1.2% burns? That would be pretty enormous. Recently, KuCoin has said something about Terra Classic in the form of a vote. They voted to lower the total token circulation and obviously lower the burn rates from 1.2% to 0.2%. Seems like a lot of exchanges don't like 1.2%. It's too high. They prefer 0.2%. It's a lot less you know, invasive. People in big wells would be willing to accept it. And I totally get it. But of course, the burn rates are increasing pretty fast. Will we be hitting one penny by the end of this year. It's going to depend on a few things. Is Binance going to join? And is it going to be listed on Coinbase and Robinhood? If all three catalysts come to life, then absolutely we're hitting one penny. Okay, what we really need now is a catalyst like before. Here, Binance listed it. Afterwards, it surged up even more. So essentially from the bottom to the very top, it was a 100% gain. And that was a very, very small catalyst with Binance announcing that there's just going to change it from optional to mandatory burns. If KuCoin accepts, prices go up and then takes a little break. If another catalyst comes in, we could be seeing another massive skyrocket in price. So it really depends on three things once again. KuCoin listing the coin and doing the big burns, Coinbase relisting it, and Robinhood listing it for the first time ever. And that will cause the coin's price to spike up.